Um, you know, uh, uh, after talking with management, uh, you know, for Tim, uh, he played probably a little more minutes than we wanted to last night. We're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, make him inactive today, so we won't be out there. So more just a precautionary thing versus any setbacks. Right, right. Yeah, no setback or anything like that. We just uh, uh, the plan was to try to gradually build him up and. Fortunately, the game went into overtime, and uh, uh, we ended up playing him a few extra minutes, so uh, we're going to hold back today. Okay. Um, you know, KP said last night after the game in the locker room that, you know, maybe for him with the way that defenses are pressuring him and it's a learning process getting you stalled out, which we've talked about, that, you know, maybe scoring less, not trying so hard to do so much can help him kind of get over that hump. Is that something you agree with? I mean, well, you know, uh, we still want to use him, uh, and uh, I like that attitude. Um, you know, I think that's all of our guys. Uh, when you get the ball, you know, when we call a play for you, it's not, it's not necessarily for you to shoot the ball. It's you to make a play. So whether if you have the shot, great. If not, uh, you know, you make a play to kick it out to somebody. Uh, and that's where we have to do a better job when we come on to these plays. And, and uh, uh, you know, that could help KP more that he can pass it out. Um, he did a couple times last night, made a great pass to Ennis late in the game uh, for a dunk. You know, that keeps teams a little more honest. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's throughout our team. We need more of that. Seven games on the road starting today. I mean, this is the longest road stretch of this season. Are you looking at this as this is make or break time, go time for this team? Well, I told the guys last night, you know, this is an opportunity. You know, people look at road trips as, uh, man, we got to – you know, we got a tough trip. You know, uh, we got to look at it as, hey, this is a chance for us to, if you go out there and have a great road trip, that could, uh, uh, you know, give you the momentum to go into All Star break and and uh, come back from that and, and maybe make a run uh, at something uh, later on. So I think we look at these seven games as an opportunity for us to. to we played better on the road uh, the last five games. We've only won two of them, but we were right there. And uh, you know, we're going to play some tough teams, but uh, you know, if we play well. Um, we'll have a chance to win these, and uh, that's what I think. It's, good. it's an opportunity for these guys to maybe get on a little roll. When you mentioned about a week ago, so about Chris Thompson maybe on this trip somewhere with a bunch of backs and trying to find rest for him. No, not yet. Um, you know, we're always kind of looking at that stuff for him, but, uh, you know, he, he comes in every day and says he feels pretty good. And, uh, uh, you know, if there's a day where he comes and says, Coach, man, I just, I, I feel horrible, then we'll, we'll take a look at it. But, uh, you know, he's this is part of his growing uh, into this role. Uh, his third year in the league of playing bigger minutes. You know, that's uh, again, he's he's been put in a lot of new scenarios this year in terms of you know being the guy that has to get us some buckets at the end of games, get us defensive stops, play bigger minutes, uh, and all that stuff is uh, uh, you know experience. You know, getting trained to do that. You can't just send a guy out there and say, okay, play 35 minutes and not feel not uh, think you're going to have some ups and downs. So it's all part of his process and. You know, I know last year when we talked about things after the season, that was one of the things that he was saying, I, I need to work on um, getting through that when I'm tired and play like that. And, and so uh, he, he's learning that this year. You mentioned, I think the other night in Minnesota, he played the town. You know, physically, he's getting beat up. But six, seven years now, I wanted to probably be talking about this because of where his body might be. Is that what you see, like big picture? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can look at some of these young players. Look at a, even look at Anthony Davis. Uh, his body from year one to year four or five. You know, uh, uh, we had a guy in Phoenix, Alex Land. Uh, you know, bigger guys might take a year or two longer with with the, with the weights, but you can see the difference in KP from year one to now. And that's only going to get better as the years go on. So, yeah, I think uh, you know, three years from now, you guys won't be asking these questions. And with Tim, sorry, Tim earlier, did the shoulder? Play any role or is he shoulder? No, he's, he's fine. Yeah. Jeff, you said yesterday that um, you're considering maybe making some lineup changes in the second half. Is that something that we can see today and have more thought? It's close to six half Yeah, you know, it's uh, we're always looking at that. Um, you know, I think without Tim in the lineup, uh, I'm not sure that'll happen. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to continue to look at that. The, the start of the third quarters are, are haven't been great for us. Uh, you know, we tried something different yesterday, trying to get him out a little bit earlier. 
Uh, so we'll continue to kind of tinker with that and see if we can get off to a better start in the third quarter. Since we just played Brooklyn, uh, they had in Jaleel Okafor <coughs> coming off the bench, gives him a different dimension in the second inning. What kind of challenge does he present today? Yeah, he's got a lot of skills inside there. You know, the uh, uh, you know the, the size of his body when he rolls and, and they can get him the ball there. You know, he's got the he's got the ball fakes, he's got the spin moves, uh, he's got that nice little touch inside. So uh, he's got that ability to finish in there. So uh, you know, that's a that's a different uh, kind of gonna have all these guys outside shooting threes. Uh, if they need to go inside to him, they can do that a little bit more now. So uh, you know, when he gets in the game, we're gonna have to uh, be alert to that. Well, uh, when Tim comes back, is in Memphis, will he be ready to start, or is it going to be a couple more games where you'd like to see him? Yeah, well, and again, we'll see. Um, you know, obviously today will be off for him, and, and then tomorrow, so uh, you know, we'll see how he how he feels. But uh, yeah, quite possibly, we do that. Was it a fatigue thing, or was he feeling some discomfort? No, nothing, nothing like that. You know, we when we talked about him coming back, we just wanted to make sure that we kind of gradually got him into it. Uh, you know, we took a look at back-to-back games and said, okay, if it's a situation where we can keep him low minutes in the in the one game, uh, then maybe we can you know play him the second game. But as it turned out, he ended up at 33 minutes. So, uh, you know, we don't want to take any chance of, of overdoing him too early. Uh, so that's why there's no, no other reason. No reason not to no. expect him from Memphis. Yeah. That, that collision with Anthony Davis looked scary, but he came out okay from that. Yeah, Tim's tough. You know, uh, uh, I think he partially landed on his head, so uh, uh, his head looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. You you share a city with these guys. I, it's not. I don't know if you can tell like, what kind of a rivalry it is now, but these do these games feel a little different than other road games. For you? Um, you know, I think last time we played here and when we played in New York, uh, there seems to be a little a little more enthusiasm from the fans and getting into it a little bit more. So I think the guys pick up on that. Uh, you know, that, that's always a fun atmosphere for these guys to play in.